Hello everyone, welcome to Platform 32, I'm Ian Higton and this is the world. Well, it's part of the world, it's, it's, where is it? It is, you think it's Disneyland and you'll be partially correct, it's Tokyo Disneyland. I decided to start in Tokyo Disneyland today to see if they'd modelled it, if it had been mapped since Super Mario World had been built, but it doesn't look like it has, unless this is... No, I don't think that's it. There is a building site over here. That just looks like a car park. So I'm not 100% sure how long ago this was taken or where Super Mario World... Oh, is it there? Would it be in here? Is it being built in this bit? Or is that part of it? That's a ship. I don't know. Basically, I don't see a way. No, that, that looks quite colourful, but it is not indeed. Super Mario World. So, uh, yeah, so I, th I figured uh, I'd, I'd uh, start this stream off, Tokyo Disney, see if I could see Super Mario World. It's not there, but this gives me a good opportunity to explain what this stream is and what I'm going to do, because there may be some new people in here who are like visiting my viewers in Google Earth VR. Does this weirdo want to know my exact address? One, I am weird, yes. Two, I do not want to know your exact address, just your general location. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the power of Google Earth VR to fly up into space, all the way up into space, to float above the, gr above the planet in zero gravity. Oh, it's hard to breathe up here. And then I'm able to go right back down again, all the way down, we are and land right back ground level and see a potato version of the real world but not only do I get to see a potato version of the real world I also get to put my face inside the ball of truth and when I sink my chops into this sphere of loveliness I get to see what it looks like photo style at the entrance to the magical palace, whatever it's called, at Tokyo Disneyland. And there are a lot of people here taking photos. Um, and, uh, you know, I, th this ball of truth, it changes. I can go to other places around Tokyo Disney. Let's go see, uh, let's go see what, what's going on over here. This looks like a cool area. So this is like a Wild West area. Hungry Bear Restaurant. <laughs> They've got cool frog hats. Are they frogs or are they... Oh, they might be Disney characters of some sort, I guess. The Big Thunder Mountain. And if you eat some of the food from Hungry Bear first, it'll turn into the Big Chunder Mountain. So, that is kind of like a, a brief description of how these work. And they're pretty chill, these ones. Uh, there's no... Scre well, sometimes I guess there might be some screaming. What the hell is this? Some kind of weird nighttime Disney parade, maybe? Uh, yeah, these are, these these streams are, are very different to my normal streams. They're much more chill. Very relaxing. We go on journeys of discovery to new places, favorite places, holiday destinations that you've been to and have memories of holiday destinations that you really want to go to. All kinds of things. Hey, Chippendale. Uh, for instance, I really want to go to Tokyo Disney to see Super Mario World, but whether it'll happen anytime soon, who knows? What is this place? Trolley Barn. Looks like a Dr. Zeus place to me. But anyway, I've heard a few Super Chats come in, so what I do is I take um, <clears throat> people's suggestions from Twitter, uh, from Twitter, from the stream, and uh, out of politeness, I do the uh, I do the super chatters first, and the uh, the the people who support the YouTube channel. So Santo Atheus is first. Uh, DCC zero two zero nine says, when you're in Japan, can you go to the Ghibli Museum? I've done that in a past one, DCC. I've been all around the Ghibli Museum in a past episode. So if you want to um if you want to suggest something else. 
Oh, is Mario at Universal? Oh, maybe it is. Is there a Tokyo? Is there a Universal Tokyo? Oh, you need to go to Universal Tokyo. Oh, is, oh close to your eyes. Oh, there's a di there's. <clears throat> well, now that is where I fell down. All right. Tokyo. Universal. Is it in Universal Studios Japan? Here we go. Let's give it a try. Let's see. All right. Well, here we go. And let's dive down. Oh! I instantly see Super Mario World. There we go. Helps if you get the right theme park, it turns out. Thank you for everyone who um, told me what I was doing wrong there. So this is cool. This is almost like being above a level in Super Mario 3D World for me. You can see all the details there. Bowser's Castle. There's, uh, I think that might be Yoshi there. You got a toad house there. Let's wait. That was a, a. This looks like a nice crisp view. Here we go. So this only opened recently. So the photos in here, it's Princess Daisy or Peach or whatever. Um, so this only opened recently. So all the photos inside it should hopefully be quite high quality. No connected photos. Uh, we'll have to fly around. Uh, there's uh, Yoshi's Adventure up there. Oh, it wasn't Yoshi, it's a bush. That's a turtle. There's Yoshi. You sit on Yoshi and go on the rides, look, and it goes all the way over there. There's a one-up factory. I don't know what that means. That's one of those telescopes that you can use in the game. I wonder what other treats we can see around here. Let's go down here a little bit more. So there's the one-up factory entrance. She like kind of looks a bit small, you know. Yoshi's Adventure there. Very busy. Hey, it's Toad. He's got a different name in Japan. It's like Kopinoki or something. I can't. I'm, I just made noises out of my mouth then that uh, mean nothing. This is the restaurant. Oh, look at those foods. They look nice. Oh, Kino Kinopio. Kinopio is what Toad is called. I kind of, my mouth noises were kind of similar. Is this it's the same one? It's the same one. All right. Let's see if DCC had a different um, suggestion, perhaps, for chance. Not yet, but Silversong has done a super chat. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that was a quick look at Super Mario World. What's down here? Can I have what's in here? Can you just have a big it's a shame you can't have a there's like a not a big connected tour. I think you must maybe the one up factory is like a builder bear thing. And, and you can build your own mushroom, I don't know. Build your own Yoshi. Who knows, who knows? And uh, what about up here? Oh. Did we look at this one already? This is crystal clear, this picture. I don't think we have looked at it. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. One day I'll walk up those stairs. One day. One day. What else is around in, in Tokyo's Universal Studios Japan in Osaka? I don't know why I typed in Universal Tokyo. It's because I don't know what I'm doing. Surprise. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, what else? What other attractions are there? Just. Ooh. Oh, is that like the Harry Potter thing? They have a Harry Potter style thing in um, Universal Studios in America as well. I don't fucking know my Harry's from my Potters. So, yeah, it is Butterbeer. So, I just, I, I wandered around. I was like, I don't fucking know what's going on here. This is very similar, actually. Like, to Universal Studios in America. Universal Studios in America has... 
very similar kind of street layouts and fake uh, American buildings and things. Huh. Well, who knew? Not me. Not I. Not I, not me. Okay, right. We were going to do something, weren't we? Uh, it was Santo Atheos who has done the first suggestion. Can you go visit Mesa Verde National Park, please? I grew up east of, east of it. I know how to pronounce Mesa Verde because of Better Call Saul. Mesa Verde National Park. Here we go. C.O. USA. Colorado. Hello to everyone joining. Hey, Tiff T-Thrifting Finds. You should check out Pusan, South Korea, if you run out of places. Well, uh, T-Thrifting Finds, your hubby did a very generous, superb chat last week to let us know that you were poorly, so I will, um, I will go and do that for you. You could be the third stop on the trip. Oh, uh, DCC says, let's go with EA122, EA122 selection and do Jakarta. Sure. I've been close to Jakarta before, but I've never actually been there. I don't know how um, 3D modeled it's going to be. Mind. Oops. Whoop. Because it's in Indonesia, but here's Mesa Verde National Park, and uh, well, it's a big lad. I feel like this is the sort of place where if you were to be dropped off like there, in a helicopter, you could easily wander the wrong direction, or any direction, and end up dying. <laughs> Not knowing where you're going. I mean, if I just stand down here, kind of human size, mountains all over the place and you climb up to this crest and you'd be like oh maybe i'll be able to see where to go at, the, at this crest oh no okay i'll try i'll climb up to this crest and oh no and then you'd just be like what well, maybe i'll go oh hold on i found a road i'm gonna live why would you build two football pitches here that seems like an odd place to put football pitches i don't think they're football pitches but there is something here this is the Mesa Top Ruins Road, allegedly. So, oh, these flat top mountains. That's quite cool. Ooh, there's a tunnel going through there. Oh. So I can follow the road. Should we go through, should we go through the tunnel? Ooh, spooky ghosts. Wah, 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 wah. We're free! Back out the ball of truth. Where was that tunnel? There's the tunnel. So we just went under that mountain. Man, Mesa Verde National Park is a biggie. Montezuma County. I'm in the wrong place now. Ooh, let's have a look at this though. What's this? Oh, whoa, sun is beating down. Whoa, look at that view. Incredible. Imagine being here in real life, just staring at that. That would make you feel like a tiny speck of dust. Bonkers. No connected photos. No, I can't walk on the trail, but it was taken from this trail somewhere here, on this trail, up the mountain. Did they maybe park? Maybe they parked it, maybe they walked down. I don't know, but you get, you get to see all across this landscape from there. Mesa Verde National Park. I, did, I heard a superb chat going. Uh, Jonius. Okay. All right, Jonius. I'll get yours in. Hey, Fran Ban. I uh, just spotted Fran, Fran Ban pop in there so wow growing up near do you say you grew up near here grew up east of it how do i tell the what direction i'm facing would that be north east so i'm facing east i i believe so if you grew up east of 
Mesa Verde. Maybe, maybe you grew up here. Just here, in this tiny farm that no one in the world knows exists, apart from the farmers who live on it. I mean, you think about how isolated a farm like that is. There's definitely some kind of text chainsaw massacre shit going on in one of these farms, right? <laughs> Some someone's got a lampshade covered in skin somewhere along this road. Easy. Oh, this is a nice little house though. Lovely. Keeping up the green lawn there. Nice places. Pity there's no pictures of any of it. And yeah, we fly all the way up. There's Mesa, Mesa Verde National Park right in the center of a huge landmass. Got any roads here? Here we go. Here's a road. Oh my god. It's like I'm looking at the world through the lens of a ZX Spectrum at the moment. Cold and barren but probably quite peaceful I bet you get a lovely night sky in this place like zero night pollution oh, there we go that was Mesa Verde National Park thank you Santo Atheist uh, uh -um. and next up Try a real dump. Raudsand, Norway. My home, says Silver Song. Oh, I'm sure it won't be a dump. I really want to go to Norway. I've said it many a times on this series. Raudsand, Norway. Here we go. So, yeah. He says, ha, that's my buddy Ted's family farm, Santo Atheist did. Is that true? I can't believe that's true, but if it is, does he have a lampshade made out of skin? Well, looky here. Norway has a lot of waterways. There's the big sea. And we go in here. The thing I love about Norway, whenever I visit it, is the amount of mountains, snow-topped peaks. And uh, every time I kind of go to a place in Norway, I think to myself, this is the, like, must be the most beautiful place to wake up in the morning. And just, I mean, look, you say this place is a dump, right? Look at this view that you get every day. Like, the sort of views I've had from my houses in the past have been brick walls and maybe a factory. My house at the moment's okay. I've got some nice views. But look at this! Poss potentially, Raud Sand isn't the most exciting place to live. Is this moving? Oh, it is moving. There's probably not too much to do, judging by... Um, the look of things, but at the same time, look at that, that view from behind this beautiful house. I mean, there's, there's not many houses. This could be um, Silver Song's house, for all we know. He could be Silver Song could be watching it from in here. They could be staring at a monitor in this house, in this amazing location. Maybe you live in this crazy blue house up here. With a he got a blue house with a blue window. There's a blue <laughs> a blue transit van. It's also blue. <laughs> oh, or maybe maybe you live in the house with the swimming pool. Oh, look at this. Look at that view. What the fuck? That's like a sea by your house. We were just looking at these houses down here, I think. 
do you have a boat? Maybe maybe one of those is your boat. Maybe you just wake up in the morning and you think to yourself, I'll go and sit in my boat for a bit and have a few beers in the boat. That'd be sweet. That's what I'd do. I can imagine it, it, it getting a little bit boring if there's not very many, you know. If you're young, maybe. It might be a little bit boring. There's no, like, big shops or party places that look like there's, you know, going to be cool nightclubs and things. But find someone whose parents go away a lot. And you got some cracking house parties with some mad views, my friend. Look at that. Is that your house down there, the orange one? Maybe. Maybe one of these post boxes belongs to you. Look how quiet it is. There's like no cars driving around. Nobody around. It's just. Look at this beautiful house. I got a bench on the outside. Chill out. Outside, peace and quiet. Hardly any cars going past. What a lovely place. I don't think it's a dump at all. I think it's lovely. Raw sand. Let's go see if we can check out near the water. How close can we get to the water with the ball of truth? Hmm. Doesn't look like we can get down to the boat bit. Oh, okay, here we go. This is closish, closish to the water. What's that over there? Is that just another house? Oh, it's a no entry. Oh. Secret government experiments going on over there. What is it? What is it? It's like a I mean, it's not been 3D modelled very well here, but it's some kind of shipping area. There's a big old ship just there. Cool. I think that's probably that's not. I mean, the 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 highlight for me is just this incredible body of water that you live by. You can just like fly along it, Top Gun style. Oh, crashed into the sea. I mean, maybe you could take a boat out. Take a couple of kegs, some pals, take a boat out. Camp up, someone's done it. That's a little boat. Someone's gone, camping on there with some beers. Get shit-faced. No one to bother you. Be lovely. And then look at all these, look at all these mountains. all these little towns and villages just hidden away in between. Look at that. Shit like this blows my mind because England we we have a few hilly places. We have a few mountains every so often. Peak District's got a few and some up in Scotland but you don't have shit like this. Not at all. Bonkers. Bonkers! I would have killed to have lived some of that while, while young, says Kate Lily. Go swimming and hiking and pretty much uh, just being outside 24-7 to hide from my family and people in general, says Kate Lily. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's bonkers. All right. <coughs> so, that was a look at, well, that's, this is, this is FVV6, 160. Can't get out my ball. The always beautiful Norway there. I have relatives that live somewhere in Norway. Or at least they used to. I think they might live in LA now because they make movies. But it's not that far. I could get that one day. Get that one day. Right, the next suggestion is from T's Thrifting Finds. He says, you should check out Pusan, South Korea. Hubs was born there. I've never been, though. 
Well, let's give it a try. You'd think, uh, you'd think South Korea would have, would be 3D modeled, but it depends how rural, I guess, it is. Ah, Busan is right next to Busan. The train to Busan. And it isn't 3D modeled. In fact, it doesn't look like any of South Korea's 3D modeled, which is a shame. I'd quite like to go to Korea as well. I love uh, South Korean movies, so I'd quite like to go there one day, but definitely going to be harder to get to for me than Norway, that's for sure. Still a few mountains here and there, but generally a bit flatter than normal. Uh, it's taken me right to this point here. I guess this is the, like the centre of Poussin. Hello, here we go. Oh, happy little Eggman. So I'm standing in the middle of the road. Hope I don't get hit by a car. What is that building? So there is no, no English signs anywhere. The good thing about Japan is that before the Olympics happened, oh, there is some English letters in there. Um, before the Olympics happened, they upgraded most of their signage and uh, announcements and things to also have English language stuff on there. So it's actually like when I went for my honeymoon, it was a lot easier to find our way around than when I went there in 1995. Uh, uh, and then there was hardly anything in English then. Ooh. So pretty. DVDs, anyone? some DVDs so it's uh this is a very oh camera has changed that's a crazy looking building so this is a very industrial part well I say industrial like it's a city I don't know what any of these shops are Bavaro sells suits though suits haven't bumped into any kind of... Oh, wait. I was going to say, I haven't bumped into any fast food places that are going to make me want junk food this week. Yeah, but here we go. There's a Papa John's, even in Korea. Papa John's is there. Making pizzas. Making me hungry. Let's find a... Let's see if we can find another part. I mean, we started here... All the buildings, because of the way the pictures are taken, all the buildings are like they're lying on their side. I wonder if I can go in the centre of this. It's got a helipad on top of it. I wonder if I can drop myself in the centre or get into the centre. Here we go. These are these giant buildings with the helipads on. The Sharp. Some kind of hotel or something. There's some restaurants at the bottom. Is that a penis riding a bicycle? Penis, ball, ball, bicycle. They've got a, and there's maybe a bit of sperm coming out. They've made a deck on a bicycle. What a bizarre monument, but I respect it. So I don't think there's going to be a way to get into the middle of these buildings apart from just a peek between. There they are. That's a very tall skyscraper -y thing. And these it looks like it must be a hotel or something, because they're all little balconies rather than office -y windows. A twosome place? I mean, that's just a standard. S standard, isn't it? I want to go to a threesome or a foursome place. That's where the fun happens. Oh, look at these. So many signs. Lotteria. Right, let's see if we can find some interesting architecture to check out. Did see, here we go. Can we go 
There's a baseball. Uh, Japan. Baseball's really popular in Japan. I wonder if it is as popular in Korea. Whoa. Are we about to see some K-pop? We're going to see the band Boff, which is the nickname me and my friends gave to vomiting. I'm going to boff. So they just got a K-pop band that dances and sings to K-pop music. And then in the encore, they just puke on each other. Do you like watching people boff, young lady? Unbelievable. The kids of nowadays. It's quite a good... Uh a cool little arena to be in, though. Uh, what about the baseball stadium? Here we go. We're in it. Facing towards the crowd. Oh, yeah. There we go. They're doing a ball. They're basing some balls right there. The Lottie... The Lotta Giants? Is that what they're called? Sit down, mate. You're blocking the view. We've got some drums... Other side, just for the, I don't know, people watching the game to put the peop other people off, I don't know, I guess. Whoa, there's like so many different stadiums. Oh, wait, is that the one I went to already? What's this, though? This looks weird. This has got a, a helicopter pad on as well. Do we get to... I mean, is, is this some of it? No. It's not there. It's, not. It's, a, it's a Busan. Oh, we're in Busan now. We, that's Busan Medical Center. That's a hospital. That's probably why there's no footage of it. Oh yeah, we're in Busan. I've gone. I've missed Busan. Wait, that is also Busan. Train to Busan. I mean, that's Busan's just a little tiny bit. Whoa! Hold on. Whoa! Whoa! I feel like a giant! This is really, uh, really sharp, this image. Look at all those bloody skyscrapers! Fuck, that's like... <coughs> that, to me, looks like a view you'd see in, like... Yeah, a sci-fi video game or a sci-fi movie. All these giant buildings, but this is actually real life. That's bonkers. I love that you can kind of see... This balcony up here as well. What the f <laughs> These houses are so mini compared to everything else. Listen, South Korea, chill chill the fuck out. <laughs> You're getting too tall. You're getting too big for your boots. Look at it. That is absolutely nuts. I have never seen in my life such a huge congregation of skyscrapers and it just goes over there miles and over there it doesn't look real it does not look like a real place I love that a lot of these buildings have green roofs I wonder if that's because there's just no space for gardens so people have like turf on the top of their buildings so they can have a kind of garden vibe going on because there is there is Obviously no space, so they've had to build upwards everywhere. Which way was that looking? On it. Towards the sea, maybe? I think it's this way. Is it over here? It's just buildings and buildings. It's quite a cool road, though. Yeah, just... So many apartment buildings, really. Huh. Unbelievable. And that section there that we looked at, literally just a tiny part of South Korea as well, really. Goes all over the place. Bonkers. Well, there we go. That was Pusan. Thank you. Thank you for uh, the suggestion, t Swifting Finds. Very cool. Very cool. Indeed. Right, next up is DCC saying, do EA122 suggestion and do Jakarta. I'll turf your building, says Nightcat. And Dog Party Guy says, Ian's accidentally in 
Uh, Mirror's Edge. I sure am. Or I sure was. But now we're going to Jakarta. Hey, Mackinoy's Warpig, late to the party. Wait. <coughs> the change from Raud San to Pusan, says uh, Silver Song. Yes, very different. I, uh, To be honest with you, as much as I want to visit South Korea, I would prefer to live in Norway. Big crowds and big buildings are nice for a little bit, but I prefer the outside. We don't have too many people chatting at the moment. Alex Samara, CA, 12, Gavin UK, 86, Kate Lily, Nightcap, uh, Probably a Witch, Silver Song, and uh, Jonius. They're chatting on YouTube. Chatting on Twitch is Bow Gareth, Dog Party Guy, Dragon Brother, and Nightcap, Samantha MB. Uh, that's about it. Samantha MB says, Isn't there a sculpture park in Korea that's all sex themed? I feel like. I feel like. We've, I feel like I've tried to find that before. I'm, that reminds me. That reminds me. Okay. Well, that, that, that's stirring some memories, at least. Loving this nice chill stream, says Steve Scott. Me too. I've been telling everyone how um, well I've been sleeping recently. And then last night, I didn't... Uh, well, I, st I got to sleep very well. But then I woke up about six. And just could not get back to sleep again. So I'm a little bit tired again today. So I'm just that's why I was thinking of doing some Dark Souls VR, but I was just like, oh, that's gonna be a lot. I just want to chill. Jakarta, Indonesia. Indonesia? It's twinned with Altonesia. <laughs> Tangerang sounds like a Skrillex song. All right, let's go. Jakarta, Indonesia. Oh, there's not going to be much to see around here, I'm afraid. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, there is. I thought for a second there hadn't been a Google cargo here, but there has. It just took a little while to load. J.L. Pentaran. Wanted to see the Google car in the mirror then, but a bit too late. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, a bit, bit grimy under there. Okay, well, all right, let's try and find... Now we know that there is some semblance of Google Street View. Let's try and find some interesting architecture to check out. That is a train station. Whoop, hold on. Oh, balls. What is this? Some depot, Coretta, Jackery. That's what that is. It looked like there was a someone's house or something. I like going in into the interior of places in these streams. If you've ever seen one of these streams before, ooh, big radio tower. So sometimes I just. Fly around, what's this? It's, whoa, tight little alleyway. Hey, can I actually travel up this alleyway? It's amazing. Someone on a, I think a Google Maps guy on a bike maybe has come down here. These little kids have been playing hopscotch down on this pathway. That crazy tight alleyway. These windows. Yeah, we can go down here. What are these? Are these houses or, or little businesses? There's an umbrella up there. Is that where they keep their umbrella when, when it's raining? They're a bit like... Motorbikes don't normally come down here. What are you doing, mate? Nasi ulam yang asli di sini tempatanya masakan betawi. Me. Whoa, look at that. Okay. Mopeds come down here all the time. This is the bonkers. I can't be safe to drive a, a moped down streets this tight. It's quite cool, though. Mate, if the next 
image is that woman and a child like lying on the floor. I'm going to feel very bad. That is a very small police car. So that's inside someone's house. Turns out this is is this isn't a path. In England, this would be a path, but in this area of Jakarta, it's a freaking main road. There's motorbikes following me and everything. These are some these are pretty fence railings. Although some fuckers walk past and snap that one off. Naughty, naughty. Hello, everyone. Come here. <gasps> Catty. Oh, I think those are cat balls right on the tip of the arrow. That might be a cat's testicles. There you go, Korean catty for you all. Gangbuntu. What's this guy doing? He's doing circles around the. What's this bit? What's that? Is that like a bar? <laughs> so bizarre. Oh, he's out onto the wider streets now. Whoa, look at that cool tree. Holy shit. And what is being sold here? Fruit. Fresh fruit. Is that dragon fruit? Mangoes and shit. Hiya. Where to now? Down here? This is crazy, just being able to go down these bonkers little side streets that, you know, just, I'll never visit in real life. There's a burb. Boop. Hey, little burb. Is this some kind of street mechanic that fixes mopeds? And he's got a pet bird that sits with him while he fixes mopeds. That's kind of cool. Quite sweet. And that's all kind of happening near the train station by the looks of things. Just in all of these, I guess I must have just gone down all these tight streets here. Because everything's so packed together. I guess that's why people can use those roads as mopeds. Like, uh, you know, use mopeds down those roads. Because there's like front doors and everything. Oh, bloody hell, I've been a postman in this place. Must be an absolute nightmare. How you'd find anything. Have I been down this one before? I don't really know. Oh, crisps. I want, I want some crisps. Burger and sausage. I, <laughs> we, we are called the sausage, sausage squad. Mmm, love me a nice hot sausage. A sausage in a, in a bap. Please. Wow. So, like, again, compare this with Norway. It's so such a different vibe. Like, so many people and buildings crammed together. I mean, th that lake that we saw in Norway probably could fit 10 billion people from Jakarta in. It wasn't even a lake, I think it was just part of the sea. I think to be, I think I might have missed a couple of super chats. Kate uh, 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 Lily. Uh, that's a dumb one. I think Kate Louise found the name of the uh, the sex place in Korea. And there's one from Dan Matthews. All right, so that's a pretty uh, pretty cool look at some like crazy, just random streets in Jakarta that you can just hoon down on a moped and. There must so many people must get hit by mopeds a day <laughs> in Jakarta. Ayambaka Cafe Relief. Can you see inside? Annoying. That's the annoying thing about um, Google Earth is it only lets you 
go where it's taken the photos. I really want to, I really want to get a little bit closer just to this bit here so I can peek inside Cafe Relief, but it's either there or look back that way. But it's mad, isn't it? It's just on a, on a street down here and then suddenly I'm back up in space again. There's Jakarta. Is this barley? This is barley. No? Is this barley? Oh, fuck knows. Let's do this, I think. Barley, there you go. Oh. I was going to try and find where I lived, where I lived, where I stayed. When I went to Bali, but um, it's a similar situation where everything's quite densely packed. Bali's definitely a, a bit more traditionally designed than Jakarta. Way more temples and things that, and, and old buildings, but yeah, fuck. I've got no idea how I'd ever. It was a long time ago since I went to Bali. I've got no idea. No idea where in this mass of buildings I stayed. But it was close and then we went we went on a on a trip to the other side of the thing. Right, so we've done Jakarta. Let's go to Kron Kronberg im Tanaus, please, says Erjonius. Kronberg in in Thanos. Okay. Kron Berg in Thanos. Okay. Germany. Now Germany's a place I've been to a fair few times before. Um it's near Frankfurt. I don't think I've been to Frankfurt. I've been to Cologne. I've been to Dusseldorf. I've been to Essen. And is that all? I think it is. I've only been to that part of Germany, which really, if you look at Germany, very big. Don't have I been to Berlin? No, I have never been to Berlin. Look at that. It is um, 3D modelled as well. We're not checking out Berlin today, but um, that, is a, that is a place I should visit at some point, really. Wait, I've lost, I've lost where we were going. Oh, that's all. Oh, wait, is it? No. Wait, what? Bloody hell, Germany's massive. I was like, no way is that where it was, where the pin was. That's the other side of the world. But no, it's just the world is is massive. So this is taking me in 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 Kronberg. Kronberg in Tanaus. Well Taunus. Uh, to this area here. But I like this. The the sight of this. Got those familiar like Eastern European, like European red bricked buildings that always look so beautiful. Let's have a look at this castle. Oh, El Chateau. Oh. Can I go anywhere from here? No, just a random picture. I want to kind of view over the city, uh, over the town, if possible. This is kind of works. Look at that. A oh, skyscraper in sight. Maybe a couple of towers. Oh, there are some skyscrapers in the distance. But this is no Busan, that's for sure. What about here? Whoa! Well, this is, look at these. I love the shutters on the windows. Look at 
Look at this place. Can I... Oh, I just want to walk around it. I'm hoping someone's like maybe done a drone or something at some point. But... Oh, that's cool. Oh, I didn't want those the inside. Those are some nice bicycles. Do some stunts on them. Look at this. Cool little pathway leading down the hill. I guess there's not enough room in this person's house to keep their bikes inside, so they lock them up outside and take the saddle off in case someone nicks them. They've got little bird houses there. That's pretty sweet. Build. These look like fairy tale buildings. I want a house with a turret type thing there. Doesn't have to be a massive tall one, just a little one like that. That'll do. Just so you get a nice view of the surroundings. There's a superb chat go there. Check out Bar Harbor, Maine. We honeymoon there, so it's double W. Bar Harbor. Sounds good to me, Dom W. Germany has such nice architecture, says Terza. It really does. It's like beautiful, beautiful fairy tale style, like Hans Christian Andersen style architecture mixed with just beautiful amounts of greenery everywhere like it's just such lush green woods and then like i mean that is this someone's house i don't think this is someone's house it has a sign outside so i'm guessing it isn't but that looks like that could be in the magic kingdom in disneyland that building why is this building it's a Ooh, ooh, inside a church. We've made it. We're inside a church. I don't think there's been one of these episodes yet where we haven't gone inside a church. And still, I've not set on fire. That is a good sign. What the fuck is that? I mean, what the hell is that? I mean, what the... What the praise Jesus is that? That looks like something out of a Mor like a Elder Scrolls game. What the hell? They are summoning some shite with that. Holy, f is that like the the Book of the Dead on there? <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is, but that's scary. Okay, um, that's a scary church. We got a what is this? That's the same place. Oh no, I'm being haunted by the church now. No matter where I move, the church is still there. Okay, let's just fly along and see if we can find somewhere that looks. So we've got, what's this? This is just, so this is more like standard modernized living areas, right? You've got, yeah. So this is just standard modern Boring architecture. And then that borders this wonderful, wonderful little town. I love it. I like it. I would like to live in one of these buildings, perhaps this one here. Not letting me not letting me go and check these out properly, but man, who would live in a house like this? Me, if I had the chance. That is pretty epic. Yeah, we've got a bunch, a bunch of random buildings. But yeah, this is a beautiful place. Kronberg im Taunus. Taunus? I presume that's how you... Ooh, can I go here? I sort of can. Whoa. Look at this place. Bet this place has seen some action. Cool. 
Well, that's another place on my list of places I need to or want to go. All right. Next. I'll just note down these superb shots. All right. So that was thank you, uh, Jonius, for inviting us to Kronberg im Taunus. I don't know if I pronounced that right. The Schloss, the Schloss Hotel, uh, Jonius says. It's a pretty posh town. Is that where you live? That's our city hall, at least part of it. Oh yeah, this is this is the Catholic Church down the road. Nice. So that's what that's crazy. So you live there. That's so cool. All right, love land in Jeju, Korea, please. That's from Kate Lily. Oh, what the fudge? Where am I now? Hold on. This is nice. Where is this? Milchonig? I can't read that. Berg. I can't read these words. Berg. Funig. Can't, this is a, it's hard enough reading German. Berg Kronen, Kronberg. But when it's in a funny font like that, then I'm screwed. That is a nice view, though. Come up here for a bike ride. I'd, be, I'd never come back. It'd be awesome. Right. Uh, boo, oh, no. I mean... What was it called? Uh, Loveland in Jeju, Korea. Now, will it... Lo there's a Loveland in Colorado. Loveland, comma, Jeju. Okay. Oh. Eh, something looked a little bit like it. Love, love. Jeju. Love you a latte. Let's try this. We'll be in the area. There's a lot of loving going on down here. Is I mean this. Oh. Yep. Oh, yep, yep, there's a, pe there's a penis. Yeah, we found, yeah, yeah, we found, oh, oh, that's, that's a vagina, that's a, that's a, oh, no. We found it, everyone, that's a, those are boobs. Those, hell's of boobs. That man's, what is, oh, my gosh. What are they doing? That's a bum with oh it's oh it's they're intertwined some kind of sex thing what's this bit oh no okay it's not that sexy okay we can we can we can f is this the same place as a sexy dog on a log <laughs> sexy dog on a log i don't think this is a sex place anymore I don't, know what, I don't know where I'm going. It's over here. It seems like this sex place on this map is in the middle of being built. It was pre-sex. Which... Oh. He's eating her ass out. <laughs> oh. That is a giant penis. With one ball, two balls. Oh! Oh! Are they having sex? <laughs> no, they're not having sex. Oh, yeah, there's the boobies. And connected mountains nearby. Oh. Mm. Oh, we've been here before. How far up does it go? That's what she said. The 
There seems to be only a couple of pictures in Jeju Loveland. Oh, oh whoa! Ride him, cowboy. He's got the balance. He's got his balancing point on pretty good there. Probably could do with sucking it in a bit. Might help, but doing all right. I don't do bad things to his neck, though. I'm sure. What have we got here? Oh, oh my! She is noshing that dude off. Oh! Now I've been working out, but I don't think I could do that. <laughs> I have trouble standing up by myself, let alone that. I'd give it a try, but what is he doing? Just kissing, just kissing a calf muscle, dirty boy. All right, fine. This is a very long sex park. Well, I didn't think any of these videos would ever get demonetized, but this is the first one that will, I reckon. Is that the extent of it? Is that all the photos? I think that is, I, th I think that is our trip to Sex Park, USA. I mean, Sex Park, South Korea. That's, that's us done. Yep. We have exhausted and I'm spent. There it is. There's the outside. Right. Oh, phew. I need to. Oh, I need to have a cigarette before I carry on now. How far does it go up for fuck's sake? And I nearly choked on my salad. <laughs> this is Claire T Rex. Oh my. Okie dokie. Let's carry on with Dan Matthews now. Oh, why can't I delete that? Come on. Why did my touchpad is battered on this? Okay, uh, Dan Matthews, aka Bad Sniper 3063, said, Visit Lindhurst in Hampshire, England to see if you can <laughs> find the road name Shags Meadow. Okay, I shall do that. That sounds like a fun place to go and see. Um, Lind maybe I can, maybe I can, um, maybe I can search Shags Meadow straight away. Oh, Hags Meadow. Shags Meadow. There you go, Lindhurst. Challenge completed. Shags Meadow, Lindhurst. Well, uh, here's, Li here's Lindhurst. Uh, Lindhurst is in Hampshire, in England, which uh, for Geography Free fans is right down south. That's the Isle of Wight, I believe. There. So it's quite close to Portsmouth and Southampton. My brother uh, went to university in Southampton, and so I visited Southampton many a time. And uh, if you were ever living in Southampton in the uh, in the two thousands, early two thousands, you may have even seen my brother's band Six Nation State play around there because they played a lot of places in Southampton. I think the Joiners was one they played a lot. The Joiners, yeah. Oh, there it is. I just saw it. It was there a second ago. Join us. Can I go down there? Oh, I'm going to have to. Um, is it the front? Is that the drop window? I only ever went there when it was dark. That's not it. Where's it gone? Is it this one? up. Is it not there anymore? They knocked it down. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, we're not doing we're not doing that. We're doing Shag's Meadow. Sorry. I got carried away. Oh. Oh, here we go. 
So, Shag's Meadow, um, whether uh, Bad Sniper, aka Dan Matthews, uh, just wanted me to find it because it had a funny name, or if he lives down here, we don't know. Maybe you're related to this uh, young lady here, washing her car. What, what type of car is that? It is a Ford f something. I don't know car types. Ford f Focus, I'm going to guess. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's your mum, Dan. Who knows? But this is uh, this is a nice little country uh, country road kind of estate. House for sale there, if anyone wants to live down here. Um, that's a nice back garden. Yeah, look at those lovely, uh, I don't know what they are, but they're lovely. Mmm, <laughs> flowers. That's quite a funky house, isn't it? Look at that. That's, is that someone's bedroom up there? like that design. What else is there to see in Lindhurst? Talking about Lindhurst, Nicholas Lindhurst, who played Rodney in Only Fools and Horses, which you may know if you live in England, uh, he has got a role in the sequel to the TV show Frasier. Um, I don't know why Frasier needs a sequel, or why Nicholas Lindhurst is in it, like what character he's going to play as, but I just, because we were in Lindhurst, I thought, I have that fact. Mm. <laughs> oh, churchy. So it's, it's a very, very English s town, lovely church. St. Michael and all angels. Not just some angels, all of the angels, which is very nice because there's a lot of angels and it's hard to fit them all in, but they do. And that's that's what counts. Ooh, Dan, can we go for a pi uh, can we go for a pint at the Crown? Oh, it's a hotel. They've probably got a bar at the bottom of it. Where's a better place to go for a pint? Where should we go for a pint, Dan? Um what's that building there? The Mad Hatter Tea Rooms. Cool. Uh, just um, oh, face mask, nice. Keep yourself safe. Well done. And others. Lindhurst Antique Centre. Oh, here we go, Dan. I'll meet you in the Fox and Hounds for a pint. I'll get yours in first, right? Um, oh, there's a rotisserie in there as well. Live music too. Sweet. And then once we get pissed, we can go for a meal in the Thai forest. Soak it all up if you're up for it. Sound good? And then in the morning when we're hungover, we can head to Lindhurst Coffee Shop and have a nice coffee. A lovely coffee to perk us up again. There isn't much in Lindhurst, just a small new forest village, says Dan Matthews. A church on a hill is British as fuck to me, says Anita Norris, and then <laughs> says, oh my god, and a tea shop. Oh yes, that is very, very st stereotypically English. Indeed. There we go, that was Lindhurst, lovely, thanks for inviting us, Dan Matthews. Come on, trackpad, you can do it, there we go. Alright, Dom W, check out Bar Harbour, Maine. I honeymooned there. Okay, Dom W. Just for Dom W. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Was it Bar Harbor? Wait. Bar Harbor? No way. Bar Harbor um, was a DLC for Fallout 4, that was, uh, I, I believe. Because. Um, Johnny and I used to just kept going ba ha ba 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 ha ba ha ba ba ha ba ba bra ha ba ha bra bra for hours, and I think we were the only people that found it funny. Well, here we go. Here's ha bra 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 bra. 
Bar Barbara. Blah Barbara. And uh, it looks quite, you know, quite, quite uh, condensed. Was I right? That was Far Harbor. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, Far Barbara. That was it. Far Barbara. I remember now. There we go. I knew it was something like that. What the fuck? Jimmy's just sent me a picture of a Toblerone chocolate cake. Oh, shit, son. That looks amazing. So I heard about, uh, I love me some hobnobs, right? Big fan of the hobnobs. And I heard the other day that there is a new flavor of hobnobs out called coconut macaroon flavor. And they don't sell them in very many shops around my way. So I'm currently hunting them down. I'm, I'm trying to get myself a, uh, I'm trying to get myself a pack of, where's my comments gone? Hobnobs. Uh, this is the main town on the island, says Dom W. You can get lobster ice cream there. Oh my god, lobster ice cream. L loads of people are talking about lobster in this place. Let's go down and see if we can find some lobster. Uh, yeah, coconut macaroon. Bloody hell, look at that boat. Uh, coconut macaroon hobnobs. I'm up for trying it. Could be well nice, could be disgusting. I quite like bounty. I'm one of the only people, I think, in the world that likes bounty bars. This is cool. Lobsters, found some. Yay, <laughs> found some lobsters. Don't forget to like and subscribe for lobsters. Uh, yeah. I, um, I like desiccated coconut kind of stuff and sweets and things, so... Maybe this way, you st maybe this is the building you stayed in. Be it. That's a weird place to put a bridge. Maybe you stayed in this place for your honeymoon. This looks like a kind of a honeymoon style destination. Here we go. Oh yeah, here, you know, that's, maybe that's you on your honeymoon. Okay, once again, wonderful view. Spoiled slightly by the gigantic ferry going past. They're, they're paddling. They're off to catch their own lobsters. That's a pretty decent swimming pool here. You know, update? There we go. This doesn't look like a swimming pool. No, no definitely not a swimming pool. The tide's out. I'm just in the woods. So, what the hell are you doing? Is he going to stab that stick to death? Holy sh... We're just witnessing a stick murder. Evil little shite. Might be quite fun to ride a bike through there, though. But that is not... that. That is not that. This is that. Here we go. Oh. Oh, that swimming pool is not as big as I imagined it to be. That swimming pool's... Barely big enough for two children. Maybe there's a different... Maybe that's a side swimming pool. Sausage! Oh, wait, no. Spa usage. <laughs> oh, spousage. Mmm. I'd love a nice hot spousage. We've had spousages and we've had saucies. Was it saucy? Oh, so it was this little one I saw. Where's the big one? I'll have a look at the big pool. Don't tease me. Okay, fine. We're inside the hotel. You right, buddy? Madam? Oh, lovely roaring fire. What a wonderful picture of some boats. Maybe you recognize this interior from your honeymoon. Maybe you stayed in this exact reception. watching the telly some old dude staring at his water quite hard there 
and I don't know what that is, but it's scaring me. I can't see that swimming pool. I have these flowers on my window, says Zariah Nabil. I don't know what flowers they were now, but I'm sure they were lovely. Uh, right. Um, okay. So how big is Bar Harbour then? So it's kind of like an island within... Oh no, I was going to say it's an island within America, but it's there is the sea on the side. So there's only like one route in. That's quite interesting. Can we stand on the bridge? We can do better than that. We can stand in the water. Where's the bridge then? Wow. Whoa. Seaweed. Why did the sea smell? Because the seaweed. Ha ha ha. Where's the bloody bridge? I plop myself down next on on a bridge. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Look at this view. That's going into Maine. Into Bar. Bar Harbor. Bar Barbara. Bar Barbara. Far Barbara. Far Barbara. Far Barbara. So you go in here. Maybe a land. I'd, maybe there's no airport on this. But, oh, no, there's a little airport. Look. Just there. And then I guess you can just drive all the way down here. This is where all the the holiday resorts are. Maybe these are... It's taken a long time to update. Maybe these are all people's houses. Maybe this is where the people live who work in Far Barbara. Far Barbara Barbara. Harbour Bubble. What kind of a building is that? Ah, they built a house just for his forklift. Ah, that's so cute. What the fuck? Are those loads of chickens? Or are they rabbits? Or are they bottles? I can't tell. Can't tell. Can't tell. But this is again quite spacious. And a lots and lots of nature. Good place for bike rides. Good place for bike rides. Here? No. Right, let's take a, a look at the main area before we move on to the next item on our agenda. Doesn't Stephen King live in Maine? I think a lot of his books are based in Maine. Whether it's this part of Maine or not. Oh, there's more lobsters. Seaside Grill. Oh, that's really sharp. This picture's nice quality, this one. Nice. It's always good when you get a nice quality picture. Can I read the menu? Early bird lobster special. Down east special. Maine lobster. Can't see the prices, unfortunately. A bit too far away. What's that? Naked? I'm I'm coming. Oh, naked blueberry. Okay, so it's not naked ladies. Never mind. Never mind. Um, I mean, I, I do like blueberries as well. But, uh, oh, this is a. What's this here? Pedago. It's like a bike hire place. There you go. Got some bikes for doing some bike rides around. Look at these cute little huts. They're very pretty. What's that? Whale watching tickets. Isn't that nice? That's very nice little area. Stewman's downtown. I mean, if anyone's ever been here, any of you watching has ever been here, I'm going to guess that most of you have probably been inside this. This looks like the lobster place. You can get lobster takeout. Seems pretty decent. Seems pretty decent. So there you go. If you ever want to go on a honeymoon... 
and you like lobster, I can recommend Far Barbara. Bra Farbra. Uh, so Stephen King does live in Maine, and his house is exactly the goth mansion you imagine. All right, well, thanks for inviting us to Bar Harbour, Barbara, I mean Dom. Come on. Why you know? Why my... Oh, my Mac is on the way up. My touch thing doesn't want to do deletes. All right, fuck it. Sean Van Drem next. See an awesome castle. Visit Sete de Carcassonne. Oh my. Sete de Carcassonne. Shit, fuck. Sete de Car. There we go. Here we go. So this is in France. Le France! Vive la France! Where, compared to England, is this part of France? Southern France. Ooh, Southern France. Fancy. Rue Violette Le Doux. Carcassonne, France. Wow. Well, this is... I mean, just, this is like 3D modelled, which is nice. Just flying around the outside of this castle gives you an idea of the size of it. There's like an amphitheatre there. For watching shows back in, I wonder if that's new or like old. Like, is it a new build? What the hell? Cows! No horses. Are they doing jousting? So they've got medieval recreations going on there. Put on. Oh. 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 Someone uh, slightly overexposed on the outside. As I was before I started the stream. I just want to see if the amphitheatre is new. It looks like it's kind of maybe old, but then they put new seats in. There you go, that's the castle area. So is this castle... Like, are all these buildings here, are these people's houses? Or are they businesses? That is the best western hotel. Whoa. Bashed into a wall. A Vinotec. I'm going for some wine. Oh, so there's someone's. Who was it? Can we see? Was it a bicyclist? Or someone walking? I don't know, but. Maybe a bicyclist, because they overtook the guy with the bin bag who just vanished. So imagine, like. There's a lot of restaurants up here. I'm presuming this is mainly a tourist area, but that's TripAdvisor. These are just places to stay. I was just gonna say, like, imagine like living here as a restaurant. Yeah, if you if this was where you lived, you're like, where do you live? Ah, oh, just live in a castle, you know. But it seems like most of these buildings here may be businesses for tourists. Oh, booze. Oh, my friend who I was talking about on an, on a previous stream, um, was it that? I think it was probably this one from last week, who was in Japan, who said he, he would try and get me some Orion beer back. He failed. No Orion beer for me. He failed. So I'm going to need to find a different way to get my hands on some Orion beer. This is a beautiful little uh, castle. Pinocchio! He's been lying. Look at him. Either that or he's been to Love Love Park in South Korea and 
got some ideas. He's he's definitely got wood. Ha 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 Jewelry, but lovely jorts. Is that a robot? It is a robot. Made out of art, it seems. So these are very tight little cobbled streets. Many restaurants, ice cream bars, just a very beautiful place to wander around and so check me, check me out, friends. I'm in a castle. Can we kind of go into a into a turret or anything like that? Oh, what is this bit here? This is not a turret. Let's see if we can get into an actual bit of the castle rather than just the streets. Maybe this big bit of the castle here. What's that? Oh, hello. Why would you take that photo and then blur your own faces? Silly. Okay, so this is, again, still within the castle walls, I believe. Benetu 83. Oh, here we go. We're in a bit of the castle. Is that a helmet and a shaft? Is this is is this another penis? Well, that's someone's face. I don't know what's going on there. Oh. Hey, we're gonna get clues to the location of the Ark of the Covenant in here. So these are rescued reliefs and stone statues, I guess. That were once up in the castle and have been moved here for safekeeping and museum -y kind of oh look at that nice view out the window there oh that's a beautiful view out the window wish we could get closer to that oh look at all those balls those balls are very heavy i couldn't imagine being able to play with those balls very well <laughs> right I heard a jingle jangle. How long have we got? We've got a half hour left and my laptop has got zero battery left. There we go. It's charging. It's charging. Okay, so thank you, Sean Van Der Am, for inviting us to visit Cité de Carcassonne, a very uh, cool castle indeed uh, next up we're going to go to a butterfly farm in Stratford I actually think I've been to that butterfly farm in real life dreadful it says I doubt you could get inside but it's really pretty I try and go at least once every few years I went to Stratford for a, a, an anniversary weekend once and I'm pretty sure we went to it then if it wasn't then or there I've definitely been to a butterfly park before just some crazy crazy um, cemetery <gasps> I wonder If we can go to one of the coolest places in the world that I've ever been to. <laughs> can we go in the catacombs? The Paris catacombs. Have we done this before? Catacombs of Paris. Can we get in there? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, if you don't know... Uh, what this is if you've never heard of the catacombs of Paris basically these walls here these are all made of leg bones and arm bones and skulls and they have hundreds and thousands of people and they've all been arranged on the walls uh, in different kind of patterns and things and basically the story is that uh, 
in France, in Paris, there was a plague and it was so bad that they had to dig up all the graveyards or something and they had to move all the dead bodies because they had nowhere to bury people. They had to move all the dead bodies down into these catacombs underneath Paris that they dug up and there's just these and you go down here and it's a it's a really long walk and everywhere is just covered in the bones of dead french people <laughs> and it's twist and they have all these all these like junctions go off and loads of them are gated off because it'd be really easy to get lost down it's like a maze down here and you follow a route along um and yeah it's really creepy but also quite awesome <laughs> to visit what fuck who gave a mouse a camera what what is even this what what, what was even that for um i could definitely if you ever go to paris silence models i could definitely recommend there you go look at how sharp that picture is look at these bones skulls makes you realize how mortal you are when you go down the place like this that's for sure you're not supposed to touch them but i did whenever someone tells me not to touch something oh a toilet whenever someone tells me not to touch something that's the first thing i do you can see the way they're all stacked up like some of oh that guy's got like a maybe got shot in the top of the head or something or axed stabbed in the top of the head um yeah there's like other places where they're like arranged in cross formations and stuff it's bonkers and there is a movie based on this location a horror movie based in this location even is it in this one no not in this one it's called look at that the movie is called as above so below it's a pretty cool horror movie. And then people go in here and then get lost and dark shit happens. That's the Paris Catacombs. Sorry, I got dis I got distracted. Apologies. Right. Stratford Butterfly Farm. Sorry, Treadpool. I was probably the furthest away from a, a butterfly farm that you could get. Strat for, who the fuck is that? I've been out on the piss <laughs> in Stratford loads. Lots I know lots of people who live there. Butterfly farm. Here we go. Maybe I'll be able to show you where I got drunk before. Yes, I can. In here. A uh, couple of friends I know that used to work at, I used to work with in Gems TV, got married in there. I got very drunk there and here. And then there's some nightclubs that we went to afterwards over there. Anyway, we're not talking about getting drunk. We're talking about a butterfly farm. We're in it, sort of. That's okay. That's not a real butterfly, but we're in the butterfly farm, sort of. This is the outside bit. Can we go in? In. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, this is the interior. I mean, I can't tell if all butterfly farms look the same there's a butterfly there's a butterfly but this looks familiar to me there's a butterfly is there any butterflies that like chilling out and oh there's one on the floor look is that one or is that a leaf don't really know that a butterfly that's massive that is a butterfly looks so, it's so big it looks like a fake butterfly but it's a 
That's crazy, isn't it? The camouflage in them to make it look like an, an animal. Like an owl or something. How did... How? How, how did insects know how to evolve their colouring to make it look like the eye of an owl? Like, I'm not really a believer in a, a creator or, or a god or anything like that. Seems a little bit too convenient. But when you see things like that, like, I can understand things like evolving, like, bigger muscles or, like, bigger claws to help hunt. But when it's something, when it's a visual design, like, when, it, when it's making wings, would that be like humans evolving hair that grew in the shape of eyes to, to protect us from predators attacking us from behind, you know, if, if that was a problem that we had, which we don't, because we're the best <laughs> at killing. But, <laughs> but yeah, like, just think, some things like that are just, uh, I'm like, what? How? What? Why? How? How is this? That's, that's very weird. Oh, there's a butterfly. Attention, if the iguanas, there's iguanas. Can I go through to see the iguanas? No. Yeah. Who knows, those clever little flappy bastards. Nature has its ways, as fire rabbit. It sure bloody does. I also got drunk on the Avon, says Dreadpool. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay, next up. How long have we got? 20 minutes. Okay, Silver Song next. Silver Song says, Have you seen Trollstigen in Norway? No, but if you watch the first part of this stream, you'll know that I like Norway. So let's go check it out. Trollstigen in Andal Snes? Snes? Super in. Andal Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Norway. Nice. I don't know what that is on top of the A or how that is supposed to change the pronunciation of the A. But I'm just going to call it Andal Snares or Andal Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Sounds like a f Whoa, my God! Wow. Look at this! What the shit? There's a there's a mad lake in the middle of a mountain. Who put that there? Oh, I was like, there's got to be a picture of this. Here it is. Wow, someone's up at the top of them. Fair play to whoever climbed up here to take this picture. God damn! God damn! There. I bet that's cold. <laughs> bet swimming in that, show your bollocks off. What is this? Must be fish and stuff in it, though. That's nuts. Yeah, another lake there. What's this little. What's this little car parky thing here? What are we doing down here? So it was up there was the lakey thing. So I guess a, you can walk up there. Plenty of tourists coming to see this place. And there's, there's walkways up the mountain. At least partially up the mountain by the looks of things. Let's head up. Let's head up here and see what's going on at this centre. Guys, slow sometimes. Who lives there? That's a cool little house. The troll. Wow. So this is this is the base where people come 
park up, buy some souvenirs, and then go off up into the mountains to get some incredible views. You got anyone taking photos of around here? Rauma Municipality. No photos nearby here. Shame. Oh, hold up. Is that the, is that the, little, the lake I was just looking at? Don't really know. What the f what's there that needs to be blurred out? Mate, now that's a good idea. Go camping here. I don't know how legal it would it is to camp there. I mean, they, they look like they've left some rubbish. Like they picked that up. I, I don't. I don't think they're. You know, I don't think the feds would go go past too often. You probably get. Oh, maybe a little camp. It looks like there's a car park there. I'd bloody love to camp here. Amazing would that be? I'm gonna go to the toilet. Maybe let's go for a poo down there or something. Be wee wee in the lake, I guess. Probably won't want a wee wee in the lake. People will want to have a swim. I'm sure you'd find a nice little rocky crevice to have a poo in if you needed in, if you if you were desperate. So this, let's see if we can follow. So. This walkway stops here, but then this walkway also goes along here. Oh! I'm in a drone! Whoa! What the? Come on, load. Load! Look at that crazy road! <laughs> what? It goes under a bit bridge over there. Wow, it must have been a pain in the ass to make this road. They did it though. And you have to get on it if you want to go all the way up here and walk along this bit. Go to this viewing point. You see the mountain up there. I reckon they might be the people flying the drone. Imagine if you lost your drone. Above this there's some big old waterfall, isn't it? And then you've got this view, oops, this view down there. <laughs> so cool. You can fly it with this. Whoa, I guess that's looking back up the mountain. A bit too many trees to be able to tell. Yeah, it's going back down towards the whoa. What's the closest town? Is this a town? Can't be a town. This must just be a little stop-off point. Little restaurant kind of area. Little break. Break zone. Grill there to stop all the wild... ...mooses. <laughs> no? God, it's a bit of a mission to get up there, but... Here's the closest kind of town. Come on, ball of truth. Look at that. See? Everywhere in Norway. It's got a mountain as a backdrop. No matter where you look. So cool. So cool. Look at that. What the fuck? Lovely stuff. Well, there we go. That was, uh, that was lovely. Um, okay, that was, I think, the last of my superb chats. If anyone has seen the Norwegian movie The Wave, it's set in this town, says Silver Song. Oh, I have not. That's quite cool. Do you don't pee in the lake, people drink water from the streams, says Mr. Unbinder. It gets diluted. It's the poo that's the um It's the poo that's the problem. Okay. Uh 
Did I miss any super chats? Don't think I did. Ah, the catacombs. Been there, says Terza. All right. Well, someone, someone chopped me a suggestion. I'll do one more before I toddle off. What the fuck is that? Oh, just a glitch. Whoa, imagine. Whoa. What the fuck? Just like random little island in Norway. But they've still got a football field. There's a whole school on here. I.P. Hughes Hall. Well, I.P. Freely. Huh? Wow. It's like... Like, this doesn't look like a place big enough to necessitate a school, but then again, there's a lot of... There are a lot of buildings on here. I wonder what this is. Is it like... Is it like a fishing thing or something? Why? There's a lot. That's a four-story house. Holy shit. It's a tiny little place. It's connected to the main Amber Road. Oh, it's not. It's just connected to another little island. What the fuck? That's nuts. Like, you live here and that's the only way to get to the mainland would be by, like, on a boat. I think if I was a teenager, I'd hate living here, though. Because you'd be like... You'd get used to the beautiful views after a while. You know, you'd just be used to it. Uh, everyone would know everyone in this town. This island. Like, you do something bad, people over there are going to hear about it if you do it over there. Easy. And I could imagine feeling kind of trapped in a place like this. Like, you'd, you'd watch, like, TV and movies and whatever from other places. You'd be like, oh, there's this whole world and I'm just on this tiny little island. I want to escape. I want to see the world, not just this little bit of land mass. But then as an adult, who hates crowds and stuff. I kind of think it would be nice to live here away from people. To get a nice little house here with a fucking forest in the back garden. Chill the shit out. Live there, in that massive house with that massive conservatory. Nay, fuck it to bother you. As long as you had good internet. I don't know if you had good internet, but... That'd be wild nice. Just invite your pals around. Big party. Well, good. <laughs> uh, buh, 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 buh. Wish I could remember which little island of Finland I used to visit, says Nightcap. Norway's really nice. Lots of envy from Denmark, says Mr. Mbinder. Okay, T's Drifting Fine says Air Force Academy in Colorado. Alright. Air Force Academy. There you go. Is this this is different to the other air base you sent me to once, right? Because I remember you sent me to that um, one place, and we found the the museum, the air museum. You could go inside. Oh yeah, this is different. I'm hoping that. Oh, there's a golf course here. I'm hoping there's like a different um, air museum. So that's just dropped me. Where's the air base? There we go. Is there any kind of air base museums or anything here? seem to be, but there are some potato planes. Those wee little potato planes. The army definitely not too keen on having me poke my nose into their air force bases, unfortunately. Air 
Force Academy. So what's the... I think we're in the uh, the secret zone of America here, these drifting finds. Google cars, these and even th these must be all military personnel houses. Google Google cars isn't even letting me check them out. Can we check out the golf course? No. Sadly not. What's this bit? about here fair child oh hold on we're inside a church it's a church it's a freaking future church what the fuck what abomination to christ is this jeebus will be spinning on his cross if he sees this it's like it's like something out of las vegas is that a dartboard what the? I have never seen a church quite like it. What's it look like on the outside? This it? What the fuck? That's a church? Cadet Chapel. Holy shit. Looks like something out of Watch Dogs. Um, second Watch Dogs. Not a pair of shoes like that. Is this Christmas time? This is this is a, a very bizarre chapel. We got a, 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 a. I don't know what's that is. F sixteen. There's some armies. Oh, here we go. We can look around on this bit. This is quite cool. There's a plane. There's some more armies. Some more armies. Are they five different people? Or are they just the same person glitching? It's hard to tell. Whoa. No, I'm, I'm way far away from the church now, my friends. What about this plane? What about this plane for us? What about this plane? What about this plane? What about this plane? Okay, what about this plane? Okay, there's a huge amount that we can look at around here either, sadly. Just lots of the inside of the disco church. But that is look at that look at that building. That is so bizarre. Bazonkers. What the was that? Uh, pretty sure I had a new one then. I didn't know that there was a Michael Bay's Transformer Church. <laughs> Arise, Church of Must Prime. Okay, winter time. It's cold. United States Academy. It's no joke. It's snow joke. Going to church there. It's the Air Force. It's the Air Force Crest. Oh, okay. It's not a dartboard then. Okay. That church is in Horizon Zero Dawn. Says Santo Atheist. No way. No way. Well, thank you, T. Thrifting Finds, for taking us to the most incredible church that I think. Uh, Since some incredible churches here on uh, Platform Thirty Two on these visit my viewers streams but um never i've never seen a church that looks like it's an extra from michael bay's transformers movies before so that is cool af so there we go that was another successful episode of visiting my viewers on google earth uh i don't know when i do another one of these maybe next week maybe give it a break again i don't know We'll see but um there is a whole world for us to explore so and some of it has statues of people 69ing we learned today which is kind of hot but um yeah thank you for watching i'm in the philippines now 
now I'm standing in the Philippines. Hi everyone, I'm in the Philippines. Uh, yeah, do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Uh, I do these every so often. Uh, there is, I don't think there's a playlist for these, but if you search Platform 32, visiting my viewers on Google Earth, there are plenty of them. And I've done, I've, I've been to some very cool places. There's a tiny little house in the Philippines. So mini. So pretty. Um, yeah, so you can go and check them out. Tomorrow is Friday. Yay, sheep. Which means I can get drunk on the internet and shame myself once again. And I can do it while you lot watch and play games with me. Uh, we got the whole sausage. I managed to ask people beforehand this time. And Ray, Deli, and Luke are joining me tomorrow. So expect some uber chaos and some PUBG and maybe some Fortnite. I see when people can join. Might do a bit more Fortnite than normal. Probably kick off with some Fall Guys though still. And definitely be doing some PUBG. Last couple of days, last couple of times we've done this, we've had 60, 60 people joining Big Team Battle, which has been incredible. Uh, incredible amounts. A full sausage squad, you're right, Claire T Rex. A full saucy squad. A full sausage squad. Or whatever the hell it, it, it was today. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Do have a good rest of your day. Thanks so much for keeping everyone safe as well. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, get me a drink in. Mine's. I'll have a pint, pint of ale. Actually, when I. Oh, no, get me, a, get me a Jack Daniels and Coke. Or a rum and Coke or something. I'm trying to be. Trying to watch my waistline. Bye! <laughs>